large financial conglomerates, I think, are more comfortable dealing with commodity structures than bespoke products. So, just to just to clarify, I think that's one of the problems. Now, you you mentioned a bunch of the you know uh, alphabetic uh, things. I think some of those survive and and are valid vehicles, and some of them are are not. And um, some will take a long longer to come back. Um, I do think the CLO where you diverse, put a diversified portfolio of loans together uh, in different industries and different geographies is actually a valid product. It may take a while for it to come uh, back and it may never come back to where it was. But yeah, some of those products are, are valid and, and worth keeping and some of those products will never see the light of day again. Companies do not work on a bonus cycle. So to do a deal and pay somebody out six months later for that transaction does not align the interests of that company with the advice they're getting. And so I say when I go back over my career 30 years, uh, advisors used to be linked to their companies for decades, years, decades, long periods of time. Um, and today, often the advisory team is a group of people that will be disbanded shortly after completing whatever transaction is at hand. And I think companies are going to get what they pay for if that's what they want out of their advisory assignments. Um, I am a believer that in order to give the right advice to a corporation, uh, you, you really need to think of the corporation as a long, and, and, the, and the, the needs of that particular CEO and that board of directors as a long uh, strategic relationship, and it cannot be in annual bonus cycles.